So today I'm just gonna go ahead and take this front wheel off. Um, I gotta inspect this like little noise that it's making. When I turn hard to the right, the car is making like a squeaking noise or kind of like a grinding noise, almost like if my brake pads were worn out. It's possible it's my brake pads, but I think it's just a rock that got in there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wheel off and I'll just kind of show you guys how to um, inspect your brake pads, inspect your brakes and that sort of thing and see what's, see what's basically going on with this thing. So. Let's uh, jack it up, take that wheel off, and see what's up. All right, so real quick, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just uh, break these bolts loose, these lug nuts. You always want to break them loose before you have the car off the ground. Let's take those off real quick, and then we'll jack up the car. So, let's go ahead and take the rest of these lug nuts off. That one don't like me. Uh-oh. That's not good. Why do I feel like... <sighs> Shit. Well, I feel like I'm going to be needing to get a new wheel stud here in about 10 minutes. Let's find out. Yeah, this is gonna snap off. And there it goes. So, first time I broke a wheel stud on one of these, I know from what I've heard, it's kind of a common occurrence. I may have over torqued it last time I was out at the, uh, the autocross, so it's probably why it happened. But now, now I gotta go get a new bolt, so that kind of sucks. So I guess I'll be showing you guys how to replace that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this back little bolt right here. Let us get in there. So I think something might be stuck behind this little guard though. So kind of figure out what we got in there. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see it right here, but I can actually see right down in there. Ah, you see that? Where is it? There it is. You see that little piece right there? Kind of the corner. Barely see it right there. That's the rock, so it's caught in between there. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but uh, if you can see the light coming through a little bit, see that little piece right there? That's what I got to knock out. So as soon as I knock that out, that should take care of the issue. The issue it's not going to take care of is this broken wheel stud. So I'm going to have to uh, replace that, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this 14 millimeter wrench. I'm going to loosen up the, uh, the brake caliper uh, bolts. So those are right here on the back side of the brake calipers. Um, there should be two of them. So there's one at the top, one at the bottom. What that's going to do is allow the, uh, the brake caliper, this whole piece, this whole assembly is going to pop off. Now this is how you change pads out on these cars. So it's a really simple process. So just kind of set those aside. Those are what the bolts look like. So, I mean, they're, you know, they're decently, uh, small bolt they're not they don't go completely all the way through now you can grab the whole caliper and you should just be able to pull that off now when you do that you can set that over on your uh, lower a arm then we can inspect the brake pads while we're down here just kind of see how they're doing um, this is actually the first time i've taken a look at these on this car so all right so you can see they still have quite a bit of uh quite a bit of bite left on them Back pad, that's how this one looks. Um, worn down a little bit more, but you can still see it's got quite a bit of pad material left on it still. So, uh, you know, I'll just set that one on the back side here. So as you can see, I mean, if you're gonna change out your brakes, as long as you're not breaking this stupid bolt, um, you know, this process is actually pretty quick. You will have to compress your, uh, your calipers. Um, and I didn't even know this, but these actually are a two pot caliper. Uh, stock on the WRX. So I wasn't even aware of that. Never really looked at it. Um, so, I mean, that's good. You're better than your, uh, your single pot. It's gonna look at this a little bit more. I have another little like rock thing right here. Get that out of there. You know, it looks like stuff kind of just gathers up in these uh, every once in a while. You can tell, yeah, this is a floating rotor. So what you got is it just rests right here. Okay guys, so what I got right now is I got the uh, the 17 millimeter on there and I have my uh, my torque wrench because these usually have quite a bit of torque on them. So 
just busted that loose. I mean, that was at close to 100 foot pounds. So, you know, you guys, just as a idea that these things do require a bit of torque to, uh, to pop off. Now this one is kind of in the way, which sucks. I think what I'll do is kind of bang on this. Yep, I loosen that up. And then we can take this piece off of here. We're taking that bolt, back bolt out of there, so that's what that one looks like. Um, we'll take the top one off. Okay, so now you guys can kind of just see what that looks like. You know, that just goes right in here. So now you can actually pull off the whole rotor. That's how these come off. And now you can see this is how you gain access to the wheel stud. So most likely what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit this thing with a freaking hammer and bang it out of there. Um, when I put it on, I'm pretty much just gonna try to get this over here to this side so I can insert it. All right guys, so the next tool you're gonna need is a BFH. You're just gonna go ahead and pound on this wheel stud. Um, hopefully it should pull out. Now I put the car in neutral and I was able to, uh, to rotate this to where I could get, um, get it to the end so it should pop out easier. So let's try this out. Um, try not to hit your center area right here. We'll just try this out real quick. Your wheel stud are right there. You can see these are where the grooved areas are, so that's how it grips in. So what we're gonna do now is, I guess I gotta go run to the, uh, to the auto parts store and I gotta go grab another one of these and then I will reinstall it. It's scooter time. Let's jump on this bad boy. It's actually been a while since I've driven this thing, so. Oh, didn't like that gas right away. Warm up a little bit. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and grab that stud, and then you're gonna insert it from the back side here. Um, you should be able to see, get it in there. So instead of grabbing a bunch of washers, what I figured I'd try real quick is just putting this, uh, just putting this wrench in between here. That'll act as a good spacer. It's also a gear wrench, so it's actually gonna spin. So I'm putting it in the way that it's gonna tighten. So if it does spin a little bit on this, um, it'll be all right. So we'll just hand tighten this down real quick. And then once I get that pretty good, we'll go ahead and take the, uh, the impact driver. I'm just gonna put this on, this is a 19 millimeter. Get it kind of tight. I wanna make sure that this bolt is straight. So it's looking, it's looking straight. So let's see if it'll suck it in. You know, not quite getting the torque that I would like it to get. So put this on here and we'll give her some torque and suck her right down in there. So. We'll go ahead and loosen that up. Now it might've put some little grooves Put a little bit of marks on there. Not that, not the end of the world, no big deal. Um, but it should go on just fine. So let's go back. We'll check this out. Just kind of look around. I'm gonna torque this one down. You know, there shouldn't really be any issues. Um, length overall, this one is a tad longer, this replacement one. So we're just gonna go in reverse order of what we did before. So first off, we're just gonna go ahead and put our rotor back on. Now we can go ahead and grab this bracket, grab the two bolts and thread them on in there. Now we want to get good torque on these. So kicking those on there pretty tight. Definitely don't want those coming off. I don't know what the torque rating is, but it's uh, at least that. That's pretty good for a torque rating anyways. All right, so now let's go ahead and put the uh, the pads back in. All right, so. so you see this little, there's this little tab piece. That goes right against here, right here. So we're just gonna slide these back in there. Um, you will notice that there is a little bit of a uh, metal piece on there that you kinda gotta press down against. So that just slides right in there. That's the front one, and this is the back one. I set them the same way that they were before. That way I wouldn't get them mixed up. But So now that we got the brake pads, 
installed in here, you'll see that they're clamped in there tight, they're fitting in their normal spot, there's nothing obstructing them, and they seem to be looking good. So we'll then take the brake caliper, take it from where you kind of had it resting. Um, now you shouldn't have to do any compression on this. If you were doing the brakes, this is basically how you would do the brakes also on the car. But what you would do is you would compress these cylinders back in. So we're not going to have to do that. So we're just going to try to slide this back on here. Um, if you did, don't hit the brakes, uh, the brake pedal when you're doing this job or else you are going to have to compress them and you could mess up your, uh, you could actually make these pop out. I don't know if on this car if they pop out, but on some cars they will. Um, so we got that on there solid. Now we can take our two little bolts and we'll just put those back in there uh, and tighten those down. These are just on there pretty snug. Again, I'm not, not really sure what the torque rating is on these, but uh, just tighten them down until they feel tight. So now we're all uh, we're all pretty much reassembled. Oh, well, that was that was tweaking on a little bit. So after this, not a bad idea just to uh, kind of go through everything. Just make sure everything's tightened down, nice and good. So yep, both my 17s are nice and tight. The uh, 14 millimeters on the sides here, those are nice and tight. And Brake caliper is floating, doing everything it's supposed to do. The rock is out and the stud is replaced. So mission accomplished, I guess. Got the uh, RE11 tires on this. Love these tires. Crap, my pants got kind of dirty from this. I guess I should have worn some uh, dirtier pants. But anyways, we'll just kind of toss the wheel up on there. There it is. And go ahead and just start these lug nuts on here by hand. Now, I always start them on here by hand because, you know, if you cross thread a lug nut or something like that, I mean, obviously it's going to break really easily. So, um, you know, hand threading them is always a good idea to avoid having them snap off. Now, like I said, I don't know why this one snapped off. Probably because I over torqued it at one point or something. I know one other person that has actually had this happen to them um, on a 2004 or 2013, I think. Um, he was getting new tires put on, about to go out to autocross the next day, and freaking lug nut broke. And what sucks is, um, I think it was American Tire that put it on there, or that was putting the wheels on. And they're like, well, we'll pay you to get it fixed, but uh, they didn't actually fix it there. So they made them have to go uh, to another place that they recommended them. But the bummer part was is they weren't open on the weekend. So that sucks. So we actually missed a day of autocross because of this. So now I like to just use this, but just because it speeds up the process, I just put it on here. Uh-oh, battery's dead. Boom. All right. Oh yeah, much more. That's why it's good to just go through a couple times. This is the one that we redid. So I'm making sure that one's nice and tight. I may go back and check these in a couple days also, but yeah guys, uh, that's, that's pretty much the install. So that's how you get the rock out of there and that's how you replace the, uh, the lug nuts and the lug stud. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you did, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you, this helped you out or anything, you know, if you just watched the video just to learn, um, that's cool too. All right, guys. Well, we will talk to you later. Have a new video coming out pretty soon. So see you next time. Later, guys. Peace out. I went to Home Depot and I just bought a DeWalt angle grinder. So check that out. I'm going to open this thing up. Bust out the... Uh, the